This video shows how to make a custom abutment from a multi-purpose abutment and opaque it with white metal for improved aesthetics. After the implant is adequately integrated, remove the healing abutment. Insert the multi-purpose abutment. It is important that the mating area of the multi-purpose abutment fully engages the mating area of the implant. Tighten the fixation screw only with finger pressure. Fill the top of the screw head with wax to prevent impression material from flowing into the head of the screw. Inject medium body impression material around the multi-purpose abutment. Then inject medium body impression material into an impression tray. Take an impression. After the impression material has hardened, remove the impression. Remove the multi-purpose abutment from the mouth. Reinsert the healing abutment. Attach the multi-purpose abutment to an analog. Orient the multi-purpose abutment analog assembly so that the flat surfaces of the transfer matches the flat surfaces in the impression and then fully insert into the impression. Inject pink soft tissue model material around the analog. Pour model stone in the impression and a model is made. Remove multi-purpose abutment from stone model. Attach the multi-purpose abutment to the analog. Use a carbide burr to shape the multi-purpose abutment. Place the abutment into the stone model to verify the fit. Remove the abutment in place onto an analog. If desired, white metal, a white resin material can be applied to the abutment. Sandblast the crown retaining surface of the abutment. Apply two layers of primer agent to the abutment. Air dry the primer agent. The surface will not be completely dry and will stay slightly sticky. Apply a thin layer of white metal opaque to the abutment. Apply white metal opaque only on areas that will be covered by the crown. Light cure the white metal opaque are. Place the custom abutment in the mouth. Apply bonding material to the crown. Bond the crown to the abutment and remove excess bonding material.